Hey everyone, it is Thursday, April 7th. The time is just after 2 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 11 degrees Celsius. And this here is Young Street. But no, this is not the city of Toronto. I'm about seven kilometers north of the northern border of Toronto and this is the city of Richmond Hill. And there's the bus shelter where I was just temporarily camping out in as it was raining pretty good for about five or ten minutes or so. And I just finished recording a live stream that started just south of Young and Steeles in Toronto and I walked north up through Thornhill passing through the cities of Markham and Vaughan and then north to here which is the city of Richmond Hill. And I think the population of Richmond Hill is a little over 200,000. And I thought since I'm here and in front of me is Hillcrest Mall, this would be a good time to go explore a new mall. And I've never actually been through here before. And they've got some food trucks set up in the parking lot. I've got the Jerk Brothers. Burgers, poutine, grilled cheese, and Philly cheesesteaks. This one says, food is life. And a cheesecake truck. And there's one of the anchor stores at Hudson's Bay. So this is kind of a neat setup they have here. I'm just going to head into this entrance of the mall and we'll take a look around. I don't really know what to expect. This isn't a walk I had planned in advance. But since we're here, we might as well. And I'm definitely going to come back and do a video around Richmond Hill. I'm quite impressed with this area. More so than I was of the city of Vaughan and Markham. And they have an EV charging station here in the mall. That's a neat touch. So I guess this would be the northern entrance. There's a large indigo and a Starbucks next to it. It's my understanding that a lot of the Starbucks located inside indigo bookshops have been pulling out. The one in the Eaton Center recently left as the Starbucks in the Young Eglinton Center Indigo Bookstore has closed as well. But it looks like this is actually a standalone store. And there's a Marshalls and HomeSense. All right, let's head into the mall. It's quite nice. There's a Freedom Mobile. And this mall is around 55,000 square meters in total, or 586,000 square feet. And it's got 135 different shops, services, and restaurants. And it opened back in 1974, and it was originally owned by Cadillac Fairview. And they're the owners of the Toronto Eaton Center and Sherway Mall. Let's take a quick look into Marshalls here, which is kind of like a big winner's. They'll get hit for the copyright music they're playing, so let's leave. But it was purchased by Oxford Properties in 2011. 
And they're the people behind Square One in Mississauga and Yorkdale Mall. So that move was probably for the better, because I think Oxford Malls are a bit nicer than Cadillac Fairview Malls. And here's what used to be a Mark's Work warehouse, but now it's just called Mark's. And there were four original anchor stores for this mall. Being a Simpsons, a Kmart, a Sears, and a Loblaws. Loblaws being a grocery store. I think one of the ill-fated Target Canada stores was located in this mall. So there's an exit right there. I didn't even look at the floor plan of the mall before I came in. If you've watched my previous mall tour videos before, you know I'm not much of a mall person or a shopper. It is a one floor mall and it was extensively renovated back in 2000. And I think again in 2015. There's a tip top. Playtime toys. And a kitty cobbler. And a Levion Rose, which I think is comparable to a Victoria's Secret. I guess this is the big central area. And there's the entrance to Hudson's Bay. And that chain took over from Simpsons. And there's a Lululemon. And I think that store there was renovated back in 2015. There's a Sephora. Let's go take a peek at what this side of the mall looks like outside. I don't want this video to be too short. Aritzia. Oh, they have an Uncle Tetsu's Japanese cheesecake here. So we are well into suburbia here. So this side of the mall just seems to back onto a parking lot. And with a whole lot of suburbia, single family detached homes on that side. And you can tell not much, not an effort <laughs> was put into this entrance. I think back during the pandemic, when the city of Toronto had some rather harsh restrictions in place and you couldn't even go to a shopping mall. At malls were oh, security guards here. I'm gonna pull my phone up and just kind of block my camera here. Recently, a Toronto YouTuber, Ken, who was told to stop recording in the Eaton Center. Anyways, as I was saying, In Toronto, when malls weren't open, they were open here. You could go to a restaurant here, you could get your hair cut, do all sorts of things. So I think a lot of people from Toronto came up here and discovered this mall and did a lot of shopping here. So that kind of points out the silliness of those restrictions. That place kind of has the color scheme of David's Tea. Right. Do I go left or do I go right? 
So it looks like this just loops in a big circle here. So if I am there, if I go right, this should loop me back around. Let's see what happens. The source, GameStop. That used to be EB Games. They rebranded in Canada to match their American counterparts. That was a chain that was in a world of trouble financially. And then their stock just exploded. I think they're still doing pretty well. Planet Boba. That would be a bubble tea shop. There's a Claire. So we have found the food court. A Szechuan, a Popeyes, an A&W. Popeyes right next to A&W. This food court gets an A plus in my books. Thai Express, which is okay. It's overpriced for what it is. Timmy's, of course. We've got a New York fries here. One of these Korean hot dog places is moving in on the left. Sport check. So I guess that could kind of be considered an anchor store. Here's another entrance to the mall. There you go, Monday to Saturday, 11 to 7, Sunday, 11 to 6. To get here, you could take a York Region bus north from Finch Station. Or you could do what I do, or just did, and walk it. I don't really know why I came out here. I knew there was going to be nothing worth seeing. <laughs> okay, they have a mini so. This chain has exploded in the GTA in the last few years. Look at that. <laughs> nice cars for kids. Two evil conglomerates, one right next to the other. And phone care. All right, so I think this is it pretty much. This leg here will take you back out towards Young Street, I think. There's a Fido, the hair spot. This is some Thursday afternoon suburban mall action. Yeah, so I think I was just here. I was coming from the right side and I went left and that took me to the food court. All right, so let's finish off this last leg. 
I'm gonna go out and try to catch a York Region bus. I'm gonna take that down to Finch Station. I might make a video out of that as well. Virtual Sting. Is it a VR arcade? Got different pods in there. Not a single customer. Laser Clinics, and here's the Sporting Life. So this would, I guess, also be considered a flagship store. They've got a rather large one in Sherway Mall. Or at least, I think it's still in Sherway. They definitely have one in Square One. So we have Sporting Life, and we have an H&M. H and a man, so I'm gonna head out here. And the rain has let up somewhat. So now we're just gonna head back over to Young Street, and that'll pretty much be that. Let's go this way to whatever street this is coming up. I had this idea that I would come up to this mall at some point in the winter time. But I gave it some second thought and I kind of noped out of it. Notice the development proposal has been received. I like in Toronto, the development proposal signs have a picture of the proposed development. Looks like they've got some snow clearing gear up here. So this is Young Street coming up. What the heck street am I on? I am on, what does Google Maps have to say? This is Carville Road. Oh, well, there we go. Just a couple of bland towers. But I did like the environment on the street throughout Richmond Hill in this area. I like the busway, I like the bike lanes on Young. That's a nice touch. And I'm gonna cross over to that busway entrance there and hopefully take a bus south down to Pinch Station. So that is that for Hillcrest Mall. I hope you enjoyed this walk. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. All right, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.